Hello, I am J Dog John Karshboom. I'm out here with Mr. Dave. We are in a bed of non stop begonias. I'm very excited to tell you about these guys because they're great, great bloomers and they're great shade options if you have some shade. So I want to go right into that, but I do want to say hello to some of our new fans and say hello to Kelly Stodler. Unitalon, Unitalon, Untalon. I'm sorry, Kelly. You know what I mean. And I apologize, by the way, for the future for everyone about mispronouncing your last names. You, my heart is there, and I want to a warm welcome. But many apologies for for just mispronouncing everyone's name. So to Islam Osman, hi Islam, and to Kirsten Ziers, and to Jen Kibado. Hey. D Jen, I like that quote on your page. It said, a man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. So that's a great quote, by the way. And to Karen Bonoff. Karen, hey, great job on that planter. Way to go. Extra points for you for sharing that photo on our Facebook page. So great job. And beautiful work done, by the way. So let's talk about some nonstop begonias. And I noticed that you all, Karen, by the way, you had some shade and you did some uh, New Guinea patience. Here's another option too. Um, let's talk about some uh, non-stop begonias, some ins and outs about this particular plant. There are some ins and outs. The one particular in and out is that these have some great true colors, meaning that can be some very deep dark yellows, also some bright yellows by the way, pure whites, very very dark reds, also some orangey reds, some really great oranges, some peaches, some pinks, light pinks, also some deep dark foliage colors too. You can get some that have this really, really dark foliage and some with a, a green foliage and some with a really light foliage. But anyway, so some options for there. They make for great container plants because they do bloom all through the season. Now, uh, some tips and tricks on these guys is that uh, one is uh, there's a male and a female flower. The, the female flowers are these guys right here, nice and big and full and fluffy and beautiful and pretty. And then the male flowers are simple and simple and not needed in this picture, by the way. So pluck off these male, uh, male blooms and you'll get more female blooms in return. So you'll get a nice big, lots of big of those big flowers. Now also a tip and trick and also kind of a neat fun project to do is that at the end of the season, so we're looking at when the frosts come in around October, these guys will start dying back, but you can lift up, dig into there, and you'll find these weird looking tubers. And these tubers you pull up and store in the garage dry. Just store them and set them aside. You'll plant them late spring, well past that frost date, right when it warms up. Wait for that uh, in June, July, that's when you'll start seeing some good growth and you'll get these blooms back. So it's just kind of a fun project. Non-stop begonias and what else did I want to tell you about that? Oh, oh, some accompanying plants. Yeah, yeah, because there's some great, because of that dark foliage, I brought in some creeping jenny, some um, lismachia, some golden um, creeping jenny. So it's an another one to, to trail and to accompany this guy. So also some great ferns too, by the way. So loves the afternoon shade. So anyway, that's the show, sweet and short. And here is your quote for the day. There is nothing like a dream to create the future. Thank you very much, Victor Hugo. That's the show. Always remember, live your passion. See me right.